Excuse me. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. Ain't no other freaking better place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch with no other than the dynamic duo of Labs and Jack. Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so you don't have to. That's right. Bringing you our own brand of news right here inside Shattered Avatar five days a week for your viewing and listening pleasure. Here to go, people. Wednesday, February 21st, 2018, here in Shroud and Avatar. We're it's a hump day, day out. Hump day. From hump day at Shroud. Everybody, uh, get your we're, hump on today. We're a day out from Tour to Thursday and That's release right. day. The big re- release. The release the, before the, launch. The, that's what we're going to say. It leaves us with one month unofficially. 34 days to launch. Yeah, that's right. 34. My goodness. Then what? Launch. Then what? Well, the, 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 then, then we, we... We stop mm-hmm. doing the show and yeah. there's no more updates and it's all over and we're done. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to take a six-month vacation. That's right. Thank God. Yeah. Take your ads with you, too. <laughs> well, then we're going to just change the show into just straight ads I mean, it's gonna be nothing but one big infomercial this <laughs> segment is brought to you by radio free britannia where you can listen to all kinds of weird stuff especially lunch with laz and jack you're gonna be this around the clock a lot of lunch with laz mm-hmm. and jack that train. are you gonna take the show on the road interviews Oh, we're, we're going to take the show to a whole new level. You have no idea what's about to happen. We're going we're gonna to take the show to a whole new level on the lot. It's a, it's a lot. We, we, we're going to ta- take it right down to the launch party in South by Southwest and the whole kit and caboodle, brother. And believe me, I'm, I'm going to be coming back with some videos. So got to warn you guys that the, there'll be some downtime for us next month. Uh, while we're down uh, doing the party in uh, South by Southwest, maybe not. Yeah, Release I party? Maybe, uh, I mean, March fourteenth. Maybe, maybe I'll just make an appearance over at Jack's room, and uh, we'll do a side by side that we never. Oh, we'll have to like rearrange the cameras, and then you'll be like, "Man, how the hell do you do this?" Side by side, spooning. What are you gonna do? Stick the cat on him. Maybe. Well, yeah. Spoon. yeah. Then, then he'll be like, man, you need to clean your room. And I'll be like, no. And it's, I, I, I see what it looks behind the screen, like behind the screen every day when you get up. It's not, not, not like I'm going to complain, man. First, he just uh, he swipes that screen off to the side and heads on down. I can see everything. Yep. <laughs> Dirty. Dirty underwear on the lamps, shades. I tell you. Wait, wait. Uh, you, you, you need to wear underwear for that, man. And, you know. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, you, you don't, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving right along. Is, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, release 51 is uh, out tomorrow. Lots and lots of updates. We've covered most of that throughout the week. But I think the hottest topic today, Jack, are you ready for it? Uh, y- you want to talk about some lot deeds? You want to you want you want to talk about some lot deeds? Oh, my goodness, is this is oh, this? Uh, and, and now that I just put my uh, finger on my glasses, put your finger on it. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so okay, l- let me l- let me bring this up. Okay, so this is a post from Dark Star. Came, came out, out yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Place anywhere lot deeds restock. 
His greetings, avatars. When we created the initial stock of place anywhere lot deeds and build out the lots in all the towns, in the game we built based on several assumptions on the use of those deeds. One of the main assumptions was that many player, many owners of place anywhere deeds would choose to use them outside of player owned, owned towns versus NPC towns. We chose to take a very conservative approach and build a very large number of lots outside of player owned towns much more than we ever sold plus a large accommodation for the ones we would allocate towards the monthly raffle this resulted this resulted in a very large number of npc towns and player lots which is a good thing during the lot sequence lot slot selection oh, yeah. sequence at the start of persistence we saw a very high percentage of players choosing to place their pot place their lots in POTs. Since persistence, we have also seen a steady migration of players from NPC towns, because they're dead, uh, into player-owned towns, because those are vibrant, to a point where occupancy rates between the two types has equaled out. This is a very good thing. We are also seeing a steady increase in new players joining the game, and we are expecting a major influx of new players around launch as we increase awareness of the game through press coverage, events, and marketing. Like their Facebook ad. Uh, this is another good thing. The, the, the one Facebook uh, ad? Yeah, the one Facebook ad that's, that's that people have been like, this I, I sucks. I, I'm daring it, but you know. Uh, they need to work on it. Uh, while we are already... They need to keep sending that stuff to people other than their backers. Yes. Uh, while they are ready, already planning to reinstate the monthly lo lot deed raffle, we are now going to increase the number of lot deeds in the raffle based on all of the above information. They are also going to add a limited number of place anywhere deeds to the inventory of crown merchants, which will also be visible what? on the what? website what? during our monthly postmortems. What? The combination of these two changes should result in much greater availability of lot deeds to players. Now, mm. where, where, where do we start with this? Controversial. Um, uh, I'm going to start with my own thoughts and placements. Okay, oh, first off, while, while I have plenty of place anywhere, a lot. Um, there's there's not anything desirable to let me or that I want to place in a PC town. First off, second off, I'm limited to three placements per character right now, and if that's going to be three placement, I will start really spreading that out amongst those accounts. Um, so. I don't know. At that point, I've, I've only used those deeds in player owned towns because there are no desirable locations to place them right now. Um, what, what about the fact that, okay, so all of the taxable lots sold out a long time ago, but you tax still. We, lots. No, the, the taxable lots. The, the place anywhere taxable lots. And uh, uh, those, those as well sold out, correct. Uh -huh. But the the what's still fucked up, I mean, is that the the if you look at the the deeds that are still available for the POT land lots and the water lots, they are still marked down from their regular price. Well, let, let, let's not start with the uh, and with the pricing, price. okay. Well, Ori originally, I thought the whole concept was X amount of place anywhere for all those available place anywhere lots. So the yeah. amount of deeds should match the number of lots equally. Was In other words, they're spoken correct? for already, right? Right. So all those Supposed all those lots technically are spoken for, even though they may yep. be used in POTs exactly. right now. It's okay, bad. now I understand that many of them are being used in POTs right now, but as the number of players comes in who can only buy POTs, they're going to populate the POT. Trying to pull out, out, right? Yes. So those place anywhere deeds then become more value, which you sell, and people move into the other places where a POT 
know, tease a lot to get used. So I, I see it. Many, many different problems inherently. There are the there are tons it, of inherent problems with it. With this, so evident too. Yeah, uh, but so I don't know. Now, it, I and also Draugr win. also points out that a lot of people yeah. quit the game. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether they yeah. quit if the an account and the deed, deed is still on the account unless the account gets inactivated and goes poof somehow that deed has got to be associated with a lot of that player it's spoken for back. it's spoken uh, for you that's right thank you thank you spoken Jim. Right. supposed to be but, uh, you, you know what i, uh, place I spoke anywhere for i also have always in figured that when we get to episode two three four and five we're going to be able to spread those out there so i'm thinking with that it's really a Nothing mine. So, thoughts? What's, what's your well, you feelings on all, all things? So um, I think place anywhere tax would be the way to go. You know, uh, more than tax free. But you know, hey, I'll, well, I'll, it, 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 he didn't say I, anything I've about got the means available. I'll, he, be, I'll grab up a whole bunch more. He didn't say anything about. Free. He didn't say anything about tax free deeds. Oh, good point. Good point. He, he didn't good. say anything about tax free, so you were reading no, no, that. No, no, you no, are no. you are reading into that. So what he's really talking about is the taxable player owned the town deeds. Uh, the, yeah, the taxable it's place anywhere. Tax. Yeah, not tax free. So it's only the taxable pot Still, or uh, taxable place anywhere deeds. Spoken for. They're already supposed to be spoken. You, you know Except what? Twenty percent, if I remember right. What, what they should do is even make those like truly place anywhere, including water lots, and until they, until all the NPC town lots are all gone. I mean, it, as I think I give them all away. <sighs> the the water the water lot thing again was a folly. There's you know, it, many, yeah, yeah, malts out there and. Uh, yeah. Well, I think it was nice to try and sell that water lot deed separate. I just did, I didn't see it. Uh, well, what about the fact that the I mean he they also said that they are going to make those available during their monthly post mortems. So the those deeds are only going to be available so, on so I, visible on the just store to, during during the telethon. They'll come up if you actually go look at the ad on just that. All the uh, deeds that we own that you used to have, you know, you you have this, you own this, are now gone. Only deeds that are available are on the store. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. In the notes to trim down the store and make the store look less cluttered, which is good. But, uh, you know, I really always like to see you know, visually, oh, I have that, I have that, I have that, I have that, I have that. Uh, you know, I don't have that. So, um can we get like you know another sub drop down of you know stuff like that for those of us who want to see? I just there, there should there should be something that says uh, no longer available on the yeah, add-on you know, store, okay. uh, just so that way you've got the like archive of, of everything that's ever been sold on the on the add-on store. Want that in a PDF? Oh, yeah. No, not a PDF. <laughs> How about we put it in a spreadsheet? Ooh. Oh, Excel or XXL? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to hope that, of course, you know, everything's, you know, right now, the economy with lot deeds is, you know, the, the properties don't have half the value they had when they first came out no. in the days to begin with. Um, so, flooding well, the market. Well, tax. At this point. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Desirable locations, which what you mentioned. So yeah, there's like, there's still a market for <laughs> tax free deeds. The the taxable deeds, there's never really been a good market for those, because when they instituted that raffle and they and people won a hundred or what, what one person won not eighty eight deeds, uh, in Fire the first in that raffle. first raffle. Um, that was player on towns only. No, that that was a mixture of place anywhere and player own town. That's right. But there's still a market for tax free deeds. Uh, there's not much of a market for the place anywhere and the or the taxable deeds of any kind. 
And my next question again is, why? I, I'm why sure. do an influx of deeds? Now deeds are finally available on Kodo vendors. Well, um, there's not place anywhere deeds. Yeah, that's, that's there, not populated. Yeah, there's only the the POT deeds, um, and yeah. that that's one where it's for the number of uh, NPC towns and player run towns, which are both yeah, NPCs, player run towns are, are, are NPCs. way too empty, and so it's it's an effort to populate those. The Draugr, the, the, all the bundles oh, yeah. that come with tax free oh, yeah. deeds are player to own town only. They're not, they can't be placed in NPC towns. Correct. So, That's so it, it's, us. it is, it is an effort to populate the, the overall map uh, of the player run towns, which are the uh, NPC towns without, with, with jack shit for services. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, that How might about be those problem. towns just maybe uh, over time to just go missing? Yeah, man. What? Hold on. They disappear. Slap um, your mouth. The that, that's what you're posting. Slap your mouth. Along, took over and now they're you know, <laughs> fight scenes. Hello, come on. Uh, be cool I, to I have think a house and a fight things scene. to do with these existing scenes and sell more deeds for. I have no scene. problem with having a house in a, in a fight yeah. scene, and I love that. I love it. You yeah. know that as well, Lenzep. Is uh, you know, I'm, I know there's many people who would love to have a place in an adventure scene uh, back to uh, the old. UO days where we cool. could, could find a place out in the world if something was yeah. spawning out there, man. Yep. You had to live with the spawn. And if that was sucked. cool. I like that. Yeah. Some some people thought it was cool. Other people didn't. But yeah, some people looked for that. Some people had no choice but to settle where. Yeah, you know. like coming out your front door and starting to click gold right there. <laughs> right. That'd be cool. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I thought it was a cool idea. But uh, anyway. So more anyway. place anywhere deeds now becoming available on in Axel. Yeah, uh, and Jogger did actually post a link to the add-on store or to the bundle aspect of the add-on store uh, because there is something that needs to be really, really pointed out um, that in there you'll see things like the Kobold tax-free Rolot bundles. That. Uh, in my my Twitch channel here uh, here, so. here, here here there it's on a stream right there. oops oh, well, there there you go I'm not happy with the guys over at Twitch and Tweet Deck these days they say yeah. screw the pooch on that one. Uh, they screw the pooch on everything now uh, if you start <laughs> looking at these I mean so. If you're looking to for a place anywhere tax-free deed, you you really get kind of suckered into this because you see it's a tax-free row lot or tax-free village or tax-free town, city, whatever. But as soon as you click on it, and then you see that it's a tax-free player-owned town lot bundle or a player-owned tax-free village. Uh, uh, Deed, and so it's it's one where it's like player owned town lot bundle. Which it has been for yeah. a long time now. And that that's something that you only get into as soon as you actually start looking at what it is. It's those are tax free player owned town bundles, and so you end up for anybody that's purchasing a bundle is locked into moving into a player owned town, and so. When you start, yeah, there's that full disclosure there. Or what's, what's well, it, it the you got a point there too, Zip. <laughs> oh, yeah, once you click on the details, it's, it's there. Yeah, when you do that, and if you're not reading, uh, you should oh, read. You know, Always read. Well, it. well, that 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 ends up with the question from uh, uh, BGZ Daryl. Uh, is he going to have a hard time finding a player-owned town owner who's going to allow him to place his town or village? 
Mo uh, there are oh so God. many player owned towns that are completely open right now to, hey, go ahead and move in, uh, or hey, as long as you're active, you're good. But as soon as those vacancies fill up, then you'll see people start charging rent for your lot. Uh, so uh, that yeah. that that will potentially potentially happen sooner than later. And I know yeah. several people that bought player owned towns with that hope in mind. Now, yeah, you yeah. picked up a new resident last night for Snow Carver, and yes. again, it, it's one of those things: uh, location, location, location. Uh, I'm following the message boards because this person posted on the board and said, "Hey, I got a deed, and I'm looking for a place to live." And I replied, and he came out and saw me. And of course, being being an active governor, uh, yeah, you know, I spend a lot of time, and when I know that I've sent out messages to somebody like that, I'm not sitting here in Owl's Head waiting for a reply. I go to the town and wait and see if they show up. And uh, yep, he he showed up. I showed him around. He ran and grabbed his deed, and he settled down. You know, he asked if he would ever get kicked out. I said. You know, like any other town owner in this game, it doesn't behoove me or it's not in my best interest <laughs> to kick people out of my town because in, you know, in, in most towns, the only reason that you'll get to me now, the, that's most most towns, the only time you would actually get kicked out is if you violate rule number one, which is D bad. D bad. Well, what if yeah. they decide to rearrange a little uh, well, tree or something? Th that, that's what happened to me, okay? And that th was not that was the pleasant. yeah. Uh, and, and, and it looks that, like that, that's totally up to right. yeah. You got to know who you're dealing with, right, Laz? And and you did not reach why? Yeah, uh, and and Laz, I think I, we just got you another new resident uh, uh, for Snug Harbor. Who's looking to live over there? Well, that, that's BGZ Daryl. I I said to message Lazarus Long in game. Oh, absolutely. yeah. So, well, and I'm that would that would take place after the show, so you can move in. Yeah, because I'm not like Jack. I don't actually conduct business while we're doing the show. Jack. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, Jack, 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 messaging service. He's got an escort Jack, service. On the side He's got again. A hey, cat, cat service going on. Just because I I sold like that gold that I put up for sale on Shroud Marketplace last night is now gone. And uh, Good man. Good so man. yeah, so it, it's something that yeah. Hey, I made a couple bucks last night. Uh, the the checks I was floating around are no longer going to be floating as much. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, it's uh, so I, I hear there's still a little uh, fucktottery going on someplace. Oh, oh there, there there will be until closing, man. Until all that's taken care of, there there will be some fucktottery. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I saw some commentary out there on some social media. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That 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 drama llama we we talk about off the, the drama air. Llama, that's what it be, was. Because drama that llama. that's the real life drama llama, and fuck Tartary, because fuck, fuck Tart is an idiot. Yeah, I love that. Right. He is an idiot, and it's fucking hilarious. Um, yeah. Uh, so anyway, is. Uh, Back to back to lot deeds. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this all spreads out uh, again. Uh, yeah, I think they should probably start thinking about letting those places die off, or maybe uh, finding a way to reuse them because um, the activity of player-owned town owners is pretty high. I got to admit, there's a lot of stuff oh, yeah. going on. There's a lot of active communities out there, and I think you know, for the for the game itself, you know. It's, it's just Pla to that direction. I think to me, player-owned towns yeah. are much more preferential because the, they're more event-centric than the player-owned town. Or, I'm sorry, the NPC towns. And the the worst place to live, realistically, is the player-run town because they don't have the same like number of vendors as a an NPC town or as a player player-owned town. Yeah, it makes it's it less so, desirable. Yeah, much less desirable. So the worst yeah. place to run. Kingsport. Yeah, out any any or town with a banner over the top of it is a an NPC town that you would want to live in. Any uh, NPC town without a banner on it 
Uh, let's see, think of... Uh, you, you got a town uh, crier and a banker at the entrance. Right? Yeah, that's about it. You, that's town crier and yeah. banker, and that's all you get as far as like well, they what they're doing. Others. Um, yeah, but no, no. Veil Mark. Uh, there's only a handful yeah. of those secondary uh, cities like that. And if you go out to like Longfall, you'll see there's actually two of them. One on either side of the coast, right off of Airy. But again... There's those quite guys. a few, actually. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. You go out here, look at how many different uh, uh, NPC towns are out here right now, outside of Owl's Head, and see what, see what merchants are out there. Yeah, there, there's what six or seven of them right outside of on the uh, in the hidden veil uh, on the overworld map. That I think there's like thirty five or forty of them or more. So yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you, the, the the player run towns um, because that that's one where players are really supposed to uh, run those towns. The, those are the worst places to live for me. Um, a little bit of inconvenience. Yeah, because they don't offer anything, and aesthetically, they're they're not very attractive. One of the reasons why I bought POTs. Yeah, hey, uh, I sold my POT, so. Place, yeah, very first place I think yeah, I lived true. was a place, that place right outside of a door. And, yeah, it was, I had... I had not because, you know, it was easier to use the exit, because I just recall in there and run out the back. Yep. Yeah. Good, uh, good old slash zone. Uh, you, have all the, you have all the vendors in your town, do you? Don't need all the vendors. I have all the vendors that are needed. Okay. Got a crafting merchant, got a weaponsmith, got a mage uh, reagent mm-hmm. seller. And it's pretty much all most places mm-hmm. need. But See, again, the. Laz, 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 Laz is look, or Led Zepp's looking for that, that very important fish seller. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's that four right. fish on yeah, Because he really wants you to waste it. And, and, yeah. yeah. Four fishes on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but I, it, it, it's one where they need to increase the availability of the Place Anywhere deeds. Uh, they need to do away with the raffle entirely. Uh, we've been saying that from the get-go. Yeah, the and, raffle has been ridiculous. Yeah, and... <laughs> Especially the conception when they gave all the lots away. Well, you know, now that it's limited to one win a piece, you know, I could see it. But again, it still favors you know guilds who pull their all their members. Well, to win. It, it's if they're able to spread it out along the uh, the What's membership. The odds, you know, the odds are so. Huh? Yeah, do you have to be a ticket buyer or just a ticket holder? Good question. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Using... It's listed. Possession, I just lock my man. I understand that, but, you know, know. Is I, I have it listed on my account that I have that I don't have anymore, so it, it doesn't really stay up to date that way either. But moving right along. Uh, got to be interesting to see, and uh, let's see how this gets handled and how it rolls out. There's a big, big, big topic on it. Well, not that big. It's got, it was a couple pages long yesterday. I don't know if it's grown. I haven't really had a chance to look at it much because we've been... What are you talking about? ...discussing the uh, yeah. still? number of debates that have popped up on this topic that Merrick actually had to say, hey, all he is post up be complaints in one forum on this because everybody's got you know, a complaint. Yeah. I, uh, I assume the major complaint is that they're giving away that is, uh, land that's spoken for, correct? It basically, it's is that the, the major complaint? The post underneath the uh, underneath Sater's post up there. The, the one I didn't look at? Doc. I'll give you the link here. Yeah, hold on, hold on. No, I can give it to him. Everybody, you just put it on the screen. Why don't you just put it up on screen for everybody, lads? How about that? Yep. Boys and girls. I'm about to do it, Jack. Somebody got. Don't know what you're talking about. Why would I want to do that? Put it on the screen. 
your screen. Put on screen. screen. Why, why, put, why would I want to put a link on screen? Your matter. stream. So everybody can see it. Because there's a 30 second delay there, man. There you go. This chat's got it. Never mind. Yeah. So that, that, that place anywhere lot deed restock by Weens. Yes. Well, there are actually several other uh, topics out there, but I, I guess that got pointed to. Barry went around and closed a couple of the topics and uh, well, pointed he, everybody to this one. You, you have to remember, no matter what decision they ever make, Weens is going to always find the negative. He is the biggest, one of the biggest forum trolls. They have a bunch of topics, including his, yes. and they're all here now. So there's three Wait. plus pages, not just Weens. And again, it, the, 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 yeah, it's all negative, pointed to his. The why, why his one over um, somebody yeah. else's? I don't yeah, know. F feed the trolls. So feed the trolls. No specifics there. Just as negative. Maybe Eric yeah, wants negative. to be. Uh, yeah. But anyway, there's uh, where you can go and see the discussion and. It's a totally Hell negative no. idea, it says. Updated so. title so players will not feel they are adding a totally negative idea? What? Yeah. What's the complaint? Well, he that means that he uh, changed the title of the uh, the forum thread. Um, yeah, oh well. To make it more ambiguous is what it means. Um, so, I mean, we've already... Um, I don't have a problem with them actually adding those deeds to the uh, the crown merchants. I really don't because that that gives people the opportunity to find things a lot easier as far as buying them off off the in-game crown merchants versus paying cash for those lot deeds. So same, same thing. It, it's essentially sp s s spending game gold versus real life cash. Other argument is people like myself and yourself who've been—they're not buying tax-free deeds, dude. They're—they're yeah. they're buying taxable deeds. Well, that's I true. That. Yeah, okay. that's a constant sink on their gold. That are placeable yeah. anyway. I understand that exactly. Pay for that. You know what? It's let them they've got to find ways to monopolize the more, their uh, game the more the way. They, they they get to anywhere yeah. aspect taxable it's taxable man or it's yeah. regardless is they're placeable anywhere and it, that, it, that they're not really placeable anywhere they're not placeable on water lots but that oh, doesn't say true. that either what? so oh. as you pointed out to me oh. it didn't say tax free well it doesn't say they're not placed they're, they're not, you, not you cannot, the, the, the only, the, the yeah. only deed that can be placed on a water lot besides the, uh, the yeah. one that's available on the, uh, yeah. add-on store for player owned town water lot deeds is the founder deed. That was that supposed was to be the, the only promise. one. That was the so th these place anywhere is place anywhere. Except water lots. It does not say that as a. Well, it should say that. Until because that's what they promised. Laz, this is something it's. Wow. You should know better. They would, they would be you, you have, you have, they you have place anywhere that. deeds on you. Go place them on water lots. See if you can, and you can't. I, I, I have some I can do that. I know. Oh. Go try it. Go try it. You place anywhere uh, refers no, to. No, I, I, I have some deeds that I can place on water. Th right. Those are founder deeds. Oh, those those right. that. But your the ones that's that say right. place anywhere refers we, we, refers we only to water lot deeds either. But that happened, Jack. So hey, that, see, that should have. In it should have. Say. It, There's the flaw in what you No, say. place anywhere only refers to NPC towns, player run towns, and uh, POTs. It doesn't refer Water to the lot type. Lot, yep. Whereas the... Serve specifically for founders. A water lot inside of a PRT or a uh, NPC town is reserved only for the founder deed. The 
water lots inside of a player owned town is the deed that you can purchase off the add on store. We don't care. We don't care. Do what you want. You have how many empty water lots, Port Mirren, um, that need to be filled up? <clears throat> And they're not going to be filled up with those founder lot deeds, my friend. Hello. There is a limited amount of founder lot deeds. There are no more founders. Thank you. So the only way to fill those water lot deeds is is half. They would have to. They would have to sell the a place anywhere. So it is possible that this may happen. Is that what you? <laughs> now, thank oh, you very much. Not according to Point what they made. say. Only if they go no, back on a promise. You, you, they go back on a promise. Yeah, it's I, I'm actually I laughing. I, 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 I'm laughing at what Justin just oh, said inside of Twitch. Free order lots. Hey, I, I'm, I'm laughing now, at what Justin said. Taxable lots. What did Justin just say? I just posted it into Discord. She said it inside of my Twitch channel. Why don't you just tell us what you said? <laughs> Holy Jesus, I changed my mind. Can we go back to talking about weens? That's no fun. <laughs> he doesn't say anything. Yeah, well, it was. Uh, weens knows uh, more about this than... than, than, than you're, you're not making a point, though. This is well, stuff that you know. We never, we you never should know. We would see this happen, and then... Yeah, we never thought weeds come available in game. It happened. We never thought we'd see water lots. It happened. So don't say it's not possible because they have to fill up a whole bunch of water lots. They know? don't have to. That or they, they're going to have to make a, a water lot need to fill up Port Mirren and all those other port towns they have with all those yeah, empty water lots. Yeah, you know what? I have no problems if they turn around and sell those deeds. But you do. You, Weens has a problem with it and a few other people do, but I don't. I got more deeds than I know to do it right, hey, right it, it, now. I, oh, I, there you go. My pockets are here. And I, 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 I can use a few more places anywhere, taxable or tax free. Doesn't matter. I can always use more deeds. Yeah. 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 Five episodes, lots of land mass. If you're not if you're not planning for that <clears throat> the expansion later on down the <laughs> hey, that, that, that's at least all. three uh, years down the road. It'll be moot. It'll and be all remember, moot episode six will be the underworld. <laughs> oh, there, there, there is no plan to episode six. <laughs> Yeah, not uh, yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, moving right along. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, wait to the wait to the open a new land you mass. You are making an assumption that. based on. I'm not making an, an assumption. I'm 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 making an assumption on what's oh, okay. quite possible. Sure. Oh, why, would they, why would they go back on their promise? Come on, Again. it's profitable. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, well. Tax free order lot needs will never be available. Again, <coughs> needs. Oh, that, that I, can, I, I can see that. Tax free needs will never be available again. No, they Thank said you. water you lot needs, period. They yeah. said water lot needs are reserved for founders, man. No. Yes. That's, what, that's what we thought, but then we had player owned town that's water lot needs. That's it, what they said. They're still not reserved for founders. You, that was because people bought player-owned towns, and it's one where it's a player-owned town. It's like I'm just, they I'm should just, allow people to. It's already been blown out of the water yeah. with the water lot player-owned town. Yeah, but you're you're creating like the the Weens like problem. Weens world, Weens world. <laughs> yeah, Weens world. That's all you're you're, you're, crea you're creating you problems. That in the post. You're creating problems. <laughs> that theoretical rhetoric that came after it was because you would not recognize that I said that he said that in the post. All that was because <laughs> you had to argue that point. That's Don't play that on know. me. I know where the point is. He's an instigator. I had to clarify the fact that you were going off on a rant on uh, tax-free place anywhere deeds coming back that was never said as well. I mean, you completely made that up, too. It's like, what? And what did I do as soon as I realized that you said oh. that tax free? For your tax, I corrected myself and I moved on. Still does, still doesn't change. They don't have to fill the lots up. They can just leave them there. How's that? Still doesn't change the point that what I said is true. You didn't say that in the post. So all your argument there is still 
nil. <laughs> True, it's just a no. It's that in the post. Highly doubtable. That point. Highly doubtable. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> am I right or am I right? Well, I, I don't. I don't. That I, in the post. Yes I, I don't. No? I don't know what you're, you're smoking. Right. It does not <laughs> say that. It, it does not say that. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, it is, Justin. Oh. Yes, it is. <laughs> this this that. is pissing into the wind. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. It does say that though. What's going well, on is so they got about say four that. and a half more minutes to fill before it's time to get <laughs> out of here. So unless you got four and a half minutes on something, please and like how do we waste all that time? How do we waste all that time? <laughs> Are you talking about targeting? God. <laughs> that nah, that that is yeah. That's no. <laughs> Harvey, it's fine. It's okay. Yeah, don't worry. All right. Well, clock's ticking. You got something to uh, fill three minutes. Go ahead. <laughs> it, as Gick says, stand up notes. Stand up notes is bugs for everyone. Bugs for everyone. Bugs for everyone. I up in a, in, a, in a nutshell. Bug, 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 bug. Yeah. Keep Have drinking. A couple shots. Catch up. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what do you think about those water lots? Well, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I, I, I really don't give a shit because most of minutes. most of the houses suck for water lots. Yeah, that, there's that no too. land. That's the problem. See? There's no there's no usable land. The, the house layouts are, suck. Eh. Yeah, I mean, you know, if, if I could have a hotel the, in the, a casino, the deco surfaces blow. Yeah, lobster traps. What about lobster traps? Yeah, if I could, if I could Something call this that. black pearl, maybe yeah, I'd yeah. have more interest. You, you, you'd have to have a water lot to farm black pearl. That, that would be nice. That would, that would be sweet. Cool. Some place in there. Yeah. What a lot. Oh. Why can't I just call oh. my basement? <laughs> Safe to run. <laughs> What the heck was that? What the hell that? was that? I don't know. <laughs> Marguerite just I, had a fit I, or something. I, I don't yeah. know what that was. I, uh, I, that was a charge. Whole... Squeaker. Squeaker charged uh, Alistair. I have no idea who Squeaker... Uh, Squeaker's the pigs. Yeah. Oh, it's All a the whole pigs bunch ever... of them. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They all mm. followed in a line and then all stacked on top of each other. Wouldn't they be called squealers? Well, they're not squealing yeah. and they're not really squeaking. Oh. We need to work on those sound effects. We need Cat yeah, the Sound Guy to work on that. They squeakers. Squeal. Everybody knows big squeal, not squeak. Are they supposed to squeal? Yes, like they are. The old lady, yes, yeah. They are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. You're not really. Right. Yeah. I love how Econdus is like, per discussion on lunch with Laz and Jack, are these taxed in non placeable on water lots? Boy. <laughs> it's like, damn you, don't bring this up. Minds wanna know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, where's the bacon at? I know. I'm, I'm, my phone's going to be ringing this afternoon from Star going, Laz, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah right. He, he's not going to call me that. that this that's is fine. Good. Uh, anyway, moving right along. Don't forget, you're watching lunch with Laz and Jack right here on NBN. Oh, uh, here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah, and that's you, right. It's time for you to go get some coffee, Led Zepp. As we hear folks about the uh, NBN and Shroud of the Avatar app available out there in the Google Play Store, the Amazon App Store, or the Apple and iTunes Store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you want to take Trout and the Avatar with you or uh, take it on the road, listen to us at work, listen to us when you go, go to your local app store and download a copy. We got all sorts of great stuff in the app. You can read the NBNN Daily Britannian, published seven days a week with news from Trout and the Avatar and beyond. You can listen to the podcast of The Daily Show if you miss it and you want to listen to it at your leisure. The latest show is always up in the app. If you want to shop the Marketplace, you can use the links out there and uh, go browse the Marketplace and get yourself some virtual goods. 
for your house. Or digital oh. goods! You can digital goods, that's right. Yeah. Digital crack, digital crack. <clears throat> as well as a bunch of other things. You can watch, watch help and check us out on social media. You can check out the Daily Calendar, which is hosted right here on nbnn.info. What? There's a calendar on nbnn.info? Are you sure yeah, about that? Yeah, the Avatar Community Calendar. Oh. That thing that you aggregated all of the available Google public calendars related to Shroud that you know about? I and, did and, and people, if people have a Google public calendar related to Shroud of the Avatar, or if they want to add events to the Shroud community calendar, you can message that guy, news at nbnn.info, and eventually he'll do something with it. Like, ask you, what's that address again? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not public, and then I can't see it, and blah, 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 blah. And then eventually I might choose to read them out. Uh, all times on the community calendar or central time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as Nude Britannia time. Britannia. Yep. Don't forget Monday through Fridays, you need to tune in your ether amplifiers to Radio Free Britannia. W -R. So that way you can listen to two idiots that don't know how lot, or, lot deeds work as they interpret the news so you don't have to. A little show called Lunch. With us. We have lots of lot deeds, but we don't know how they work. Uh, 7 p.m. on Radio I Free. I got lots of lot deeds. I don't okay. Know I you. don't have lots of lot deeds <laughs> anymore because I've sold them all. Yeah. Okay, I've sold most of them. Uh, but I'll be buying some back eventually. I'll be buying some back here very shortly. Eventually, yeah. Uh, 7 p.m. on Radio Free Britannia is the 70s at 7. And that's going to be followed by none other than the Doctor taking over the airwaves. Doctor, That's right. Doctor Eclipse Maiden's going to be doing some unmedicated schizophrenia part une. And that starts at 8 o'clock on Radio Free Britannia. In game, you can always show up to Striker Sparhawk's happy hour because that's Laz's favorite event of the week. Because it's also known as Spin Sparkles. Yes. And Striker Sparhawk's Happy Hour is where he buys the drinks virtually for an hour. So show up, get Sometimes your. Two. Some, most of the time, more than two. I think la drink. last time I was out there, I got I think I got six free drinks. He, he loves you. Yeah. I, I think he is he just like. He was just kept on handed it to me. Gives you a return teleport home. You know? Yeah. You do realize that they're just decorations and you can't do anything with them. They need to make them into actual com consumables. Oh. Well, not just consumables, but they also need to make them decorations. <clears throat> but uh, the ones you buy are consumables. I don't consume them. <laughs> and are not decorations. Yeah, they are not decorations. They're no longer deco items. You can consume them all day long. You just can't deco. Them. Yeah. And then from there, 10 o'clock on Radio Free Britannia is the final event of the evening for this hump day. And that is the record room in Radio Free Britannia. That's right. Yeah. And, and that's our community calendar for this Wednesday, February 21st in Shroud of the Avatar. Yes. Yes, it didn't say that. What? It didn't say what? Water <laughs> lot? Water lot? <laughs> it didn't say water lot? Didn't say that. <laughs> well, that's that's right, right, folks. This is NBNN Live. Lunch with Laz and Jack. And you just never know what to expect here on the... Daily. We invite you, the listener, to come join us and tell us what's going on in your world. Join in daily conversation. Come visit us in game. Hit us up in Discord, Twitch chat, whatever it may be, because uh, you know, we want to hear what you've got to say. And of course, we're always interested. We're here throughout the day in Discord, answering your questions, and just hanging out, offering helpful uh, info and just uh, some friendly chatter. 
Now, of course, nbnn.info is where you'll want to watch this show. Otherwise, you'll find it on twitch.tv slash or twitch.tv slash nbnnnews. And if you want to help keep us supported, you can go click on the donation links out there, or you can become a patron by going out to patreon.com slash nbnn, becoming a monthly supporter. And you can get your hands on some digital goodies as well as some physical goodies before becoming a patron. Yeah, and come in and listen to me push Taco Bell and <clears throat> Golden Crown. And, uh, French fries, uh, French fries, Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand and becomes a patron and order a Taco Bell nacho cheese fries. There you go. <laughs> the Airy Fund uh, coming up this March with the Ripple Effect. Uh, Water.org, of course, has got its. Um, heavy-duty charity drives going on in the month of March, month of March and uh, we're going to be bringing you the latest community event, uh, which is going to be the Ripple Effect. And uh, we'll have more information on that. Of course, the Ripple Effect is just that. We're just with the little, little, little ripple. You you can make a big difference in the world. Now, help uh, get clean drinking water to those people who don't have it. And of course, one of them real interesting statistics is more people have access to cell phone access to clean drinking water and that's just not right people that's just not right i don't know how that well i know how that became possible it's motion capitalism but you know yeah you gotta help get folks clean drinking water coil more wands putting the magic in your hands if you want some custom wood, Arius Coilmore is the guy to see in game, and he'll make it to your specifications. Scrotus, it's Scrotus, it's music, and it's a service. If you're looking for somebody to service your party or just uh, be your wanderer, bring the out there killing things, or just looking for some company, Scrotus Music Service is the place to go. Oh, and you too can hire Scrota. So, so Laz, why are you mumbling right now? I'm not mumbling. <laughs> All right. I'm mumbling. Oh, you? Mumble, 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 mumble. <laughs> I don't know. It's for you guys. The levels are fine. They're all hearing it. You guys are all hearing it fine out there, right? Nope. Right. <laughs> Trust me. They're all hearing it just fine. Britannian Mining Company wants you to come check out Black Rock Cove, the newly renovated black and all the crafting goods that you'll need for all yeah, all your crafting needs go check out black rock cove located in the quell region right next to the town of etzer conveniently located next to the elysium and etzer mines alexbyreal.com for all your licensed strategy avatar swag if you're looking for t-shirts you're looking for hats to you're looking for the NBNN I Love This Shit bumper sticker. You can go to relicsbyreal.com and check out all the great stuff he's got available. Got logos and shroud motifs on it. Hoodies, hats, uh, t-shirts, tank tops, wife beaters, you name it. Heal.com. And of course, if you want to save a little bit of money, when you check out at relicsbyreal.com, use the promo code NBN we sent you, and you'll save 10% when you check out at relicsbyreal.com. WRFB Radio Free Britannia bringing you the latest in news and entertainment right here inside Shroud of the Avatar five days a week, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Oh, oh busyness. You never know what you're going to find out here on the radios in-game, but plenty of radio waves to be frequented, and you can hear Laz and Jack on WRFB Radio Free Britannia. Shroudmarketplace.com for all your virtual vendable needs. Of course, uh, not haven't broken a hundred on the marketplace yet. Not not yet. I mean, we really need some more people to register on Shroud Marketplace as vendors, and yeah, you know what, and because. They can sell, you can sell anything and everything game related on Shroud Marketplace. Hey, because you, you know what, there, there always needs to be more gold sellers. There needs to be people offering their services up 
And you know what? And the healthier the market is, the the more people will be buying stuff. More, and more yeah. people it offerings, the oh, better yeah. prices you guys get. Oh yeah, right? and so it's it's one right now. There's over 95 <laughs> registered vendors, so close to that hundred vendor mark. Uh, I mean, all kinds of great stuff out on Shroud Marketplace. I mean, I love the fact that someone's got some teleports and recall scrolls that are guaranteed not to fizzle. That's that's this guy. That guy over there will sell you uh, his his cheaper scrolls on Shroud Marketplace. He will turn around and sell you the additional insurance policy that's for right. the fizzle you'll insurance never, policy. You'll never need, but I'll sell I'll sell you <laughs> insurance policies yeah. on his as well. <laughs> Just to make sure. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, you know what, Shroud Marketplace, I mean, great place to like list anything and everything because there's no telling what people will really buy. I mean, I mean, Omen Crow, his shop, he's got uh, tamed animals and he was shocked when someone actually bought out and bought one of the, the tamed like sheep or something like that. I can't remember what it was, it was but so, someone bought it. There. It's like, he's like, what? It's like, yeah, dude, it's like you put it up there for sale on Shroud Marketplace. Someone's going to sit there and say, you know what? I need this and I don't have the time, nor do I want to expend the effort in order to get this. And they will buy it. Uh, so as long as you put a fair price on it, it will sell eventually. So anything and everything on Shroud Marketplace, including like Dragon Bone Thrones, uh, bronze ornate vile halberds, uh, obsidian carcasses or obsidian wolf carcasses virtue items all kinds of stuff i mean all those telethon items that you missed out on you can find those on yeah, shroud marketplace yeah that's right, yeah, that's right. And, and thank you that's eagle right. thank you for the cheer Woohoo! Uh, some other great things out there are going to be you know what those indoor decos if you go to the decorations, go to indoor decorations, you can find the Deco Divas have set up some Deco Packs. So Thank if, you, Eagle. If you want to buy some Deco Packs, <clears throat> you can find those out on uh, Shroud Marketplace rooms from the Deco. I mean, rooms to go. I mean, it's like, yeah, seriously. That, yeah. that's, that's what it should be, you know? I mean, yeah, yeah. The room, rooms to go equivalent in Shrouded. Hey. Yeah, but you got the Deco Divas, and uh, they'll they'll model up a room for you, and all you got to do is go pick it up, I'll tell you. That's Are right. You? I mean, you can buy it, it, that or on their in-game vendors. You can find it all over the place. Uh, any of the... In, I, mean, uh, I, yeah. I can't remember where all people. their vendors are. Yeah. Got to remind people, Sater's Stinky Sewer Shop has still got Kodos for 65 oh, yeah. gold for 100. And, wait, wait. Uh, Are you sure about that? Prices... Prices are going up. That's what it says on my screen. You need to refresh I that. Uh, it, I did. I refreshed it just a few minutes ago. It's eighty-five dollars for a hundred now. Uh, oh, is that eighty-five? Oh, sorry. Look like six from here. Yeah, there was a price increase because remember, in a couple of days, the price of Kodos on the official add-on store are going for a hundred dollars will get you 115 kodos extortion so there's going to be a yeah and the deco divas d vendors are in spite port phoenix serpents watch and celestial gardens so thanks justin uh but yeah so kodo prices uh no longer as cheap as they were those prices are increasing all kinds of stuff they were never cheap hey yeah they were yeah always yeah. <clears throat> they're, they're yeah. still cheaper than the add-on store oh, man this. So uh, cheaper than the add-on yeah, store, but even then, yeah, uh, you can get them uh, through the telethon at the eighty-five for a hundred. I don't know if they're they going up tomorrow. They're going up at the telethon. They're going up at the telethon on March second. That's right. So you still have so, some time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but we'll you, you know what? It's like you can even find services out at Shroud Marketplace from Mal's Power Hour to Mal's Pet Quest help, uh, some GM mining runs with MG Unity, Armelians. Uh, 500k adventure XP boost Wolftum's shop with the awesome cheese sign writing Scroda's music service things or you can even find some dude offering some in-game wedding services this guy that's yeah. right weddings and more by lads not just weddings but a whole lot more if you're looking to get hitched in game you looking to get uh, that significant other just tie it to you whether it be Male, female, sheep, horse, whatever, whatever. 
fire element thing. Hey, I've got well, grandmasters in the middle of the minings. That's right. <clears throat> If, if you, you have some wild fawn love going on, we'll take care of that as well. That's what I'm save talking the fawn. about. I know. That, that would be a scrota. <laughs> the save the, save the fawn fund? Save the fawn fund. That's right. Yeah, Don't that's forget. right. Don't forget the fawn fund. And we're not talking about fawn Leverwoods either. But, uh, yes, weddings and more. If you want an underground wedding, an above-ground wedding, a seaside wedding, a lakeside wedding, a bloodletting wedding... A suicide wedding, a jump off, a cliff wedding, you name it. We do, do underwater weddings yet. We'll figure out a way to do that. We'll do it all. Matter of fact, uh, yes, we had somebody jump off your balloon and uh, commit commit the ultimate act and killed off their character yesterday. Uh, that was Aso Wonder's wife. Again. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah. yeah, Sephora. So... Uh, Farewell, Sephora. We'll miss you. Yeah. That's where that one came from. Oh, do I get a rescue people again? No, she's not mm -hmm. on set. She, she killed, killed her character off by uh, you know, jumping from the hot air balloon here on set yesterday. You will no longer find find her here in game. So we shall miss her. Uh, but yes, yeah. moving right along. Yep, it's that time for us to thank the most important people around here. And it was all people. It was a re-roll. Yeah. Y'all don't get too crazy on me. Rerolled that character. Uh, Hi, we do have to thank everybody for watching out on Twitch, YouTube, or listening on Radio Free Britannia. We couldn't do the show without you guys, and we do it for you guys. So thanks for hanging out, and thank we love you, some of you more than others, especially That's those that right. donate. Of course, uh, Eagle Eagle gets that distinct donation today, oh, as yeah. he does many gays. Eagle is one of our biggest supporters, if not our biggest. I think he's the he's day. definitely my biggest supporter. Well, yeah, we we've got patrons as well who uh, put a nice chunk of change into the coffers every month. Yep, that's what they're talking. Hey, Bitcoin so, Eagle's up there. That's all I gotta say. So thank that's you, my friend, as always. But we'll be back on release day tomorrow. Oh, we're on lunch with Laz and Jack. Till then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.